I know this is not going to work out. I know this is going to end bad. I'm still trying to do my job. Give me the whole thought. Process. I'll give you. I'll give you the whole thought because you know th th this. Th this pisses me off more than anybody. It's fake. You're not a wrestler. You're a performer. What you're doing in the ring is an act. They've not gotten any better. They're not going to get any better. They suck. There, there were a lot of times and a lot of interviews where I wasn't honest, and it really bothered me after the interview. My own kids get on me because they know I'm not telling the truth. Without a shadow of a doubt, this will be my last wrestling interview. So anything you want to ask me beyond this, ask me. Everybody knew I had a concussion, and there was probably three occasions where cheap shots were taken directly at my head. Step outside yourself for a minute. Why was Vince Russo the heavyweight champion? That same exact day, I literally, as a shoot, I swear, called my lawyer and said, whatever it takes, you need to get me out of this contract. You're breaking my contract. This guy literally is breaking my con. This is exactly what I want. Because now not only am I going to get out of this, I'm going to get paid. Right. Once I came on and was, was part of the creative, the ratings went like this, and all of a sudden, Eric wasn't the superstar at, the, at, at, at TBS anymore. He positioned it as, you're still the head of creative, but Eric's going to be like the consultant. That, that's kind of the way it was positioned. So now keep in mind, I, unless I breach the contract, okay, I've got to go along with this. We were going to create something for Scott Starner to fight in, okay? So we all agreed on it. <laughs> this and the other thing, we did it. The next day, Eric called me, and he's criticizing it after he agreed to it, okay? I'll never forget, remember, taking that phone. I took a phone, I, you know, and I flinged it across the room. Describe Bill Bush to someone who's never met him. He, Dixie Carter. And he hated my guts, Bob Mould did, because I was like, w w what is this guy doing here? I, I mean, seriously, what, the, what are you doing here? And I've never said this before, Sean, and I'm only telling you because I, 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 I respect you. I like talking to you. You're fair. Every time I turned around, J.J. Dillon and Kevin Sullivan were in a corner, ba 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 And you know how, like, when you turn around, you see somebody, and then it stops, and they go to... Th that was happening for two months. So just that, like every... Try to use that just, against Just you. like everybody was on board with David Arquette, those right. same people were on board with Tank Abbott. <laughs> two legends that I grew up with they were, make, they were embarrassing them on TV. I, I was embarrassed watching Hulk Hogan and watching Ric Flair. No, no, bro, I'm not a racist. I don't care if you're a Chinese, Japanese, black, Puerto Rican, an alien. This guy can talk. He doesn't need you as a manager. Those are the things that broke my freaking heart because it was like I, I, I would do everything I can to protect you from yourself, you know, to, to protect you. And, and, and at the end of the day, to be accused of it because maybe the person who did it is telling you Vince did it. Half of the guys on the WCW roster sucked. Okay, honestly, from a character point of view, they sucked. They couldn't act their way out of a paper bag. And basically, my, my mentality was, if my rear end is on the line, I'm going to freaking go out there and do it myself. I think today, Medusa could take half of the TNA roster. All those guys that don't want to be characters and want to have four-star matches, <coughs> Chris Daniels, I won it on a Monday by a lunatic putting me through the cage, and I relinquished it two days later. It, it's a story, you idiots. I really, really learned 
never to look at the internet again when Dave Meltzer watched the segment, the highest rated segment in the history of professional wrestling, Rock, This Is Your Life with Mick. And basically his quote was, I will never watch another wrestling show again. Okay, Th that told me th that was the icing on the cake. Why, like 10 years later, do you still cut promos on a guy that put three belts on you and no doubt about it, let's look at the history of your career, gave you without a shadow of a doubt the biggest push of your career? And you're going to go on your little blogs or whatever it is that you do and criticize me. People in the business are so wound up and so tight and so having a cork up their butt that when somebody like this comes along and basically says, hey guys, th this is a joke. Y you know it? This is, they're, they're paying us money to go out there and have play fights and this, we're the luckiest people on the face of the third. When somebody comes along and just says that rather than just love and embrace this guy they're so wound up that they hate his guts are you surprised by the criticism that this gets yeah because I was surprised of how many people actually believe that wrestling was real Yes, that surprised the crap out of me that there were that many imbeciles walking this planet, yes.